Good day to everyone out there. Welcome to the Sean Farrell podcast. I am Sean Farrell. God is great all the time. All the time, God is great. And let's get right to it. Um, What does depression actually feel like? Well, depression feels like this. It's like I'm drowning in a sea of darkness with no glimpse of light. Each day I wake up. It's like I feel the weight of the emptiness. Um, and it's a scary feeling like nothing you can do this day will bring you joy because you're just so numb. I carry this heaviness with me when I go through my morning routine, having a shower, brushing my teeth, eating my breakfast, trying to fend off my depression thoughts throughout. It's hard fighting through this heaviness in the day day in and day out and also so lonely as no one around me knows that I feel like I'm drowning inside but I keep going because I hold on to hope that I'll see the glimpse of light soon um because whenever I've gone through my depression spells in the past it always comes back at some point and this is what keeps me going through the darkness. Um, I talked about Bill Walton um, a few videos ago, and he talked about how um, when you're in that headspace of darkness, um, you think it's over then you transition transitions into you want it to be over okay okay and so um yeah um <clears throat> i carry this heaviness with me when i go through my morning routine having a shower brushing my teeth eating my breakfast okay and so This occurred, this occurred often, this occurred often when, when I, this used to occur very often when I would get, when I would get my weekly massages, when I get, when I would get my re, weekly routine, um, recovery massage. Okay. Because of the type of work I did, you know, I got one every Every weekend, that's how I recover on the weekends. So, when you wake up the next day, um, some days I will be sluggish, lethargic, slow moving. And I'm thinking to myself, oh man, that's just the fatigue of a massage. Okay. I'm thinking to myself, oh, that's just a massage. Fatigue, okay? That's what I, I really thought it was. It was just massage for fatigue, you know. Um, you were laying on the table, you know. You know, you were laying on the table, you know. You got loosened up. No, that's just massage for fatigue. But I thought about it a little bit more, and I said, uh, because there would be days where I got where after I would get massages and I wake up on Sunday morning, I was loose. I was loose. I was loose and um, feeling good. And so I said, okay. Huh. Uh, is it really massage fatigue that um, that it think it is? Because I don't think you're supposed to be lethargic, slow, and heavy. Um, 
after a massage the next day. Maybe it's possible, but I don't think it's supposed to occur like every weekend because, again, there would be Sundays where I woke up and I was like 100% loose. 100% hip loose. My joints were loose. My shoulders were loose. Um, felt good. Then I started thinking about it a little bit more. I said, uh, there's got to be something else too than that. Then I kind of came to the conclusion that it was depression. Depression for fatigue. Depression for uh, fatigue. Okay. Yeah. That's the depression fatigue. Because um, getting up Sunday morning, slow, lethargic, um, slow mo moving, um, I really had to think about that. And like I said, I thought it was massage for fatigue. But looking back at it, it was actually depression. Okay. Depression for fatigue. And um, what depression actually feels like. Each day I wake up, it feels like I feel like the weight. I feel the weight of the emptiness. Okay. Yeah. So um, it wasn't a massage fatigue. It was depression. For fatigue for, for me for me at least um so um i discussed the other day in one of the videos triggers of the oppression okay and it can be like a song a movie you see anything can, can trigger it okay and um So one of the other things that that is a trigger, one of my triggers, which is among several, because anything can trigger my depression, even if it's um, happy stuff. Anything can trigger my high depression. Um, so. I was thinking about this just see it's more horny. And one of the things that triggers my depression is seeing couples that um hold hands seeing couples that hold hands and um just um men who know they have found their um soulmate and women who have found their soulmate and um i am like genuinely happy okay i'm like genuinely happy for them okay um it's not your jealousy I am truly, truly happy for the men and women who have been able to find their soulmate. The latest example of that was um, Tristan, uh, Tristan McKenzie, who recently got married, found her, her soulmate. So I'm genuinely happy. Um, and at that same time, there's also a bit of sadness, too. A bit a bit of sadness and also a lot of the depression too because while you're happy for them because while you're happy for, for them um you're saying to yourself I've been wanting that that's the type of relationship that I want that's the type of relationship with a woman that I want and um, you say hey to yourself, I haven't found that yet. And you begin to question yourself, will you ever find it? Okay. And you start to question yourself, will you ever find it? 
And when they say true love is hard to find. <laughs> true love is very hard to find. Okay. I've been there. Okay. And I'm still still there. Okay. Nonetheless, um, you say hey to yourself. That's what I've been wishing for. That's what I, I've been praying for. Um, and again, you start to question yourself. Will I ever find that? Will I ever find that? And there's a sense of depression that begins to fall upon you. There's a sense of sadness that begins to fall upon you because you can't find the one. You think you found the one. But, um, no. And you continue to search for the one. Okay. And it brings about of, and it does bring about a great deal of sadness and depression. Okay. It brings about a great deal of sadness and depression because that's what you want. Because that's the type of relationship that you want, but you can't find it. Um, you can't find it. You search and search and search and search, but you just can't find it. And again, it just leads to intense depression and it leads to intense sadness. Because again, while you're happy for them, you're sad yourself because... It just gives you a sense of loneliness. Okay. It truly gives you a sense of loneliness, sadness, and depression. Because that's what you want. That's what you've been praying for. That's what you've been believing for. And yet, it still hasn't happened. I've been there before. I'm still there. Okay. So... Um, yeah, that's one of other, th um, that's one of the depression triggers that I did not mention. Um, I didn't mention it because, um, I didn't know quite what to say, what I wanted to say on that. But after thinking about it this morning, I pretty much knew what I wanted to say on that. Um, that's the trigger that I did not mention in a previous video. So, yeah. All right. That's it and that's all for the Sean Farrell podcast. I am Sean Farrell. God bless. Peace out.